Okay, I came to a uh, spot off the main highway, and this is the same mountain chain where I caught these snakes, so... And this is also a spot where I let go a small Malayan crate, so I feel good about leaving uh, this one here. And then this little bridal snake um, can pretty much go anywhere. So I'm going to shoot some photos for a bit, and then uh, let them go. And when I let them go, I'll try to shoot some video. I hope there's no dogs over here today. The dogs are sometimes a problem. And they need some thrown, some stick, uh, bleh, some rocks thrown. <laughs> but here's where I let the uh, other Malayan crate go. Almost by accident. I, I didn't chase it enough to, to go find it again. It did get loose and I thought, ah, oh, what the heck, this is a good spot for it. Well, we're at the base of uh, limestone, um, mountains and there's water here I mean here's some water flowing just right down here there was a lot of rain the other night there's a little lake over here so there's enough water you know I feel good about letting it go right here maybe see what's up this way I've, I've let a couple snakes go here well maybe five or five or more I'd like to be able to let these snakes go in a place I'll be able to get some photos for a while before they disappear into the rocks or whatever. So this might be a good spot. So the Malayan crate is in this big bag here and the um, what I think is a Malayan bridal snake is in this smaller bag. You have to be careful with the crates. They're so much alike. You know, the crates and the um, Malayan bridal snake and the Laotian wolf snake. God, they're so similar. And actually, one of the most famous herpetologists in the world, Joe Slowinski, died from a bite from a baby Malayan crate because his Burmese um, assistant told him it was a uh, told him it was like a Malayan bridal snake or one of the La Laotian wolf snakes. But instead, it was actually a Malayan crate and it bit his finger as he foolishly reached right into the bag to grab it. And these snakes are so strange, like, they look so much like a crate that I'm scared to pick this up. Though I know in my mind it's harmless. The idea that it looks exactly like a Malayan crate is scary as hell. You can see the white bands are not as close together uh, as the black ones. So the white band is smaller, right? And that's, that's pretty key. But as well, the shape of the head, which is uh, very crate-ish, but, but not exactly. So hard to say. I don't want, to want him to disappear in the rock shed. I didn't take any photos. All right, I'm going to wear him out a little bit and then take some photos and then uh, shoot some more video as he gets loose. Okay, so I took a lot of photos. I think I got something usable. It's really hard, man. This snake doesn't seem to uh, run out of energy. Most snakes will play around for a while, but um, this one hasn't stopped for minutes now. It's been 10 minutes. So... Uh, the more I look at it, the more I'm uh, sure what kind of snake it is. It's almost definitely the Malayan bridal snake. They're not as common as the Laotian wolf snake. But, um, but I have found these before. So they're very beautiful. They look very similar to a crate. Most people won't be able to tell the difference. And again, the difference is how thick the black bands are in comparison to how thick the uh, white bands are. And it's, a, it's an overall, you have to look at the entire snake as well. You'll see, uh, next video will be the Malayan crate. And you'll see how different it is, how thick the bands are. The white ones and the black ones are nearly the same size. At least a lot, a lot closer than these are, right? And you can see the size of the head on this snake is very small. I'm going to let him go now. It's pretty hot out here. I think... Uh, and now I'm double thinking, uh, I don't think he wants to go into these rocks where it's so hot. So I'm thinking I'm going to take him uh, back this way a little bit. Come here, dude. He didn't bite me the last couple of times I grabbed him, so...
I think I'm gonna put them over there like towards the water. Let me get my stick. Hopefully he'll stay on here. I think he's tired enough now. Maybe he'll just, no, he's not gonna stay on there either. You can see his belly is white. I don't know if you saw or not. I'm not gonna grab him so you can see. Oh, he's not gonna stay on there, is he? Stay on the hook, stay on the hook. Good, good, good. Great. Oh, almost. And then I'm going to drop you right over here so you see the water. He already had a drink, which was cool. And this is cooler over here, but... So I don't think this is the ideal spot. I think probably he'll, he'll find the ideal spot and I shouldn't worry, but... One time I let a very large centipede go in the heat and it died in the heat so I'm gonna give him a toss in the water over there if I can grab him come here dude shoop there you go at least you know the water's there it's cooler than the dirt and the rocks better if you go this way go the other way go the other way Good, good, go, go, go. Cool. So those snakes are easy to find at night, right? They're so, uh, they're so, um, such a contrast, you know, the black and white against the uh, dark uh, ground. Uh, they were, they're usually on the leaves and things like that. So it was real easy to see that one last night. Here comes more rain too, Jesus. Uh, the Malayan crate also, so I'll stop this video and start another one. 